Hello, and um, thanks for uh, thanks for joining me on this review of uh, a new tape which I have just um, just got. talking about today. So this is the Analog Productions Ultra Tape release of John Coltrane's A Love Supreme. Now just to tell you a bit about this is there's no question what this album is about. Um, Coltrane writes on his sleeve notes um, to sum up pretty much uh, it's a humble offering to God. Um, his way of um, giving thanks, if you like, to God uh, after a, a religious experience, <clears throat> um, awakening, or whatever that he, he writes that he had in 1957. So, just to set the scene, the album was recorded on um, December the 9th, 1964, um, produced by Bob Thiel and um, recorded the recording engineers, none other than the great Rudy Van Gelder, who um, I'm sure anyone who knows jazz will know Rudy Van Gelder. Um, his name on any recording to me is, is, is almost like a, a seal of quality. I don't know of anything that I've heard that he's recorded I don't really like. Um, and uh, anyway, on this recording, it's um, it's a four piece band. We've got John Coltrane on on, on saxophone, um, on piano, uh, McCoy Tyner, on drums, Elvin Jones, and on bass, Jimmy Garrison. So, just to set the scene, I'll move this out of the picture for a minute. This is um, this is my vinyl copy of this, which I've had for for some years now. And, um, you know, being a significant, very beautiful piece of music, I, I hunted myself down a, an original UK mono pressing. Um, as you can see, I keep it in a very nice inner sleeve. And if we look at this, um, HLP, HMV CLP 1869 with a text recorded by ABC Paramount Records Inc. USA under the serial number and in the dead wax a 77 a 1 G so an original first UK press uh, in mono which is um, I mean this copy is in excellent condition I don't know if you can see that on camera excellent condition and um, if you check on discogs frankly this is probably worth about 500 pound it's um you know, a precious, a precious and a beautiful thing. And, uh, you know, as I say, I've had this quite a few years and I've listened to it several times and um, I find it a beautiful, spiritual, meditative, moving piece of music. Um, but that's kind of as far as it goes on vinyl. Until this afternoon, because uh, I, I, I received these about a week ago and I've, I've literally you know, I've been busy. It's been a high by show on this weekend. So I've only just got around to hearing the tape. Now, what you get here on tape is a very, very stout, beautiful box. Amazing production and packaging. And we have two separate boxes, one for each reel. take side A. <clears throat> you see here what we've got is a um, beautiful reel of tape. I believe this is recording the Masters SM900. I'm not I'm entirely certain on that. Uh, someone will correct me if I'm wrong, no doubt. Um, but this is recorded um, uh, and, and copied Pretty much one to one from the original from 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 an original master tape, and um, as such, there's no closer way of hearing this music of experiencing this music. What you hear when you play this back on a decent system is the same as what they would have heard in the studio in the, in the mixing mastering process whilst making this record, and you get some. Uh, Beautiful artwork, beautiful 
um, booklets. First of all, this is this is pretty much the the rear of the American issue um, of this cover. We don't get this much information on the UK. Uh, I'll just grab that. The UK vinyl uh, is is a slightly truncated version of um, the same stuff, but we don't we don't get his his essay, his poem, or his prayer, his prayer, I guess. Um, I will do all I can to be worthy of thee, O Lord. It all has to do with it. Thank you, God. Peace. There is none other. God is. It is so beautiful. Thank you, God. God is all. I won't go on, but you get the gist. It's a passionate, passionate, personal prayer. Um, giving thanks and and. And I think that this uh, this can bring, no matter what religion you are, it's a, it's a spiritual thing. It'll bring you close to Nirvana, maybe all the way. Anyway, anyway. So, as I said earlier, listen to the vinyl copy, and it's a beautiful piece of music. It really is. But then you get to the tape. Let me just grab the tape box up here. <clears throat> and um, well I've only just listened to this and frankly I'm really quite blown away as soon as you put it on the bass is so so much tighter um, the rhythmic timing uh, the weight and body of the drums they, 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 they drive the tune they hold the pace of the piece together um, and um, and, and the, the, the sort of the tonal landscape of the, of the, and, and colour that the piano, the drums, the bass um, put together. It, it, it's almost like a landscape, like a, like a, like a, like life. Um, and the sax soars above this, uh, delivering the message. And the way on the tape that the sax, um, in, the, in the areas of praise, uh, it just does it with so much more soul. Um, as as you move, listening through the piece, and you move, it, it, it like cycles from um, jubilant praise and euphoria to a calm meditative state. And um, the way you're taken on this journey is just so 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 much more intensely vivid. Um, so the whole piece, it's it's written in four parts, and and it, it feels very much like a piece of classical music, in that respect. Um, so part one, acknowledgement, is, is the title of this. Um, it it is a it, it's like a cycle. You're taken you're taken up in, into a joyous sort of uh, exuberant feeling of praise and and higher existence. And then you're brought back down to a state of calm and meditative reflection um, on that. And, and just the way it happens, it, it, the intensity of it, it's, um, you know, it compared with vinyl. And the, and the vinyl system I'm playing this on, again, just to set the scene, I've been in the hi-fi industry for 40 years now. Um, so I'm playing it back. It's a clear audio master reference uh, for a chic 12 inch cartridge uh, tone arm, rather. Um, Shunmuk head shell and a Miyajima zero mono cartridge. Uh, and, and, you know, that's it's, that's very, very highly um, set up, you know, tuned and set up for, for just getting the very best out of these old mono recordings. Phono stages and aesthetics IL Eclipse as well, um, which is you know, one of the best photo stages you can get. So that's kind of where we're starting, but this, this just takes it to another level. So discuss part one, part two, that's where the piece really starts to groove. Um, you can feel the elation in the band and the writing of Coltrane. Um, and, and, and through that, you know, through the performance, which, which, which you just hear far more intently, um, uh, because of the sound quality, the authenticity of this recording, you just feel Coltrane's passion, his heart and soul absolutely on fire. Um, going back to part one, 
where the um, the vocal chant, a love supreme, a love supreme, um, that's the only vocal on the album. And I'd never realised before that there's this, it's not just um, Coltrane singing there, there's this, I'm not sure if it's the whole band, but there's, there's, it's more than one voice, you just... Which again, it just adds to that that completeness, the harmony that the band are playing with, the the unity, the the common purpose. Um, I, I truly believe they were all on this. You know, they they they'll be swept along. I'm sure the air in that studio that day must have been well, magnificent, to, to, to filled with absolute, utter, complete passion and and and, and you know, spiritual highness. Um, incredible. Anyway. Going back to the music again, part three. So part three starts with a drum solo and it's just so there, um, it's so in the room. Um, and then the sax, the sax opens and it's, it, it, it's just, it, it just glares like, a, like the sun, it shines with hope and positivity. Um, thanks maybe, it's a, 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 a positivity, hope, thanks, joy exuberance it's 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 just it's 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 just it just leaks out of the speakers blasts out of the speakers and into your soul it's 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 incredible it's in a wonderful and moving um anyway then the bass comes in and, and and settles into the groove with the piano and the drums um and the piano of note in this particular movement as well it's 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 on the tape what you just don't really get um you'll hear you, you can hear it but you kind of have to listen for it um on tape everything is just there you don't have to listen hard you don't there's no it, it's not a task it's not an arduous thing it's not something you have to concentrate on it just it, it just is um and it, it envelops you uh the, the, and the, the piano it's it, it, it's like two instruments you it, it provides both the melody and the percussive rhythm obviously the drums and, and bass and and the, the sax all joining in and very much playing their part but everything's present everything's working in harmony and in unison but 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 totally free not not you know unchained not not constrained um Again, it just feels open and free, like like you would imagine that a a a, a good religious experience or a, or a pure spiritual experience would would feel and does feel. Um, it's it, it's it's beautiful and it's credible. Um, and then we get to the end of part three, and it, or it might be the beginning of part four. That it's it's a bit of a grey area where one finishes and the other takes over. Um, you know, on the vinyl, there's no dividing line like there is on side one and two, and and you know, even looking at the um, original tape box, of which there is a photo in the uh, in the sleeve notes here, um, which again, it's just it's just it's just fascinating. There's, there's, you know, but it's, there's no you know, parts three and four just flow from one to the other. But let's say the bass comes at the end of part three because that's how I feel it does. Um, the bass solo, it's just utterly captivating. Um, the, the the body if you like of, of of the third act third part the movement is is really intense uh really passionate um and the bass solo just brings you right down um into calmness but 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 um it's it's just staggering it's not it, 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 it's 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 um you can feel the bassist Elvin Jones right in front of you. You can feel his, you can see him practically. You can feel his fingers on the strings and it holds you on a high whilst being calm. Um, almost, you know, I can't think of a better way of describing it than, than saying it's orgasmic, frankly. It is, it is, it, it's intense and it's beautiful, but it's, 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 it's calm and it's static, it's stationary, it's constant, it's there, it's reliable. It's beautiful. Um, anyway, then whether we're already in part four or not, but let's say we're not. So then we go into part four and and the drums and the piano and the bass kind of they roll gently and swoosh and rush. Um, and it, it, it's, it builds like a, a scene. Uh, you can see a landscape, I can see a landscape, the sea 
in front of you and the sea just sort of the waves gently whooshing backwards and forwards but it's a beautiful clear fresh day and um, and then the sax cuts in again and it's just it just cuts in like proclaiming this new day with 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 clarity and positivity and hope um and 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 then the, that 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 final piece sort of concludes and 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 you're left um awestruck kind of slightly worn out almost but but like you've been on a journey um and to sum up you know really quite frankly the love supreme is a spiritual journey and no matter what your religion if you're even if you're an atheist um if you've got any heart heart feelings uh i don't I, I don't think you could fail you know you couldn't fail to be moved by this um it's no question why it was written and what it was written about because he he writes that very clearly um even even on the uk he writes um he writes what it's about but on the on the us um on the us final original you do get this uh know, where has he gone you do get this beautiful text which he wrote, uh, here we are. prayer, poem, whatever you want to call it. And one of the things that's magnificent in here, uh, because the tape just does take you so much more to that. It gives you, it gives you, um, it gives you, you know, it, 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 it's, rather than reading about it, you're being it kind of thing. But here in the tape notes, look, we've got some, um, You've got the handwritten photographs of the handwritten poem or prayer. So it's, it's you know, just from reading something to seeing the handwritten version of it, so from, from hearing a record to listening to the master tape. It's, it's, the difference is, is, is that, is, is massive and it's profound. This is a stunning, magnificent, outstanding piece of work. Um, and believe me, I... I I feel that more intensely and more passionately and more vividly having heard it now than after, I don't know, 20 years maybe or so since I first heard this. Um, you know, I thought it was just cool and groovy and laid back and a bit chilled and, you know, a bit spiritual. But no, it's, it's a, it's, um, you know, it's like going to a fantastic, you know, the most magnificent cathedral you can whatever your religion you know it's, it's going to a massively holy place um and having a phenomenal spiritual experience um the tape takes you closer and more passionately and more intimately into that experience um you go on the journey with uh coltrane i would say um the the packaging is super luxurious and beautiful you know, you get two of these tapes. You know, it's a weighty thing. You get two beautiful tapes on beautiful reels. Uh, you get you get a fantastic booklet with, with information that, that certainly I've never seen before. Um, you know, these these beautiful photographs of of, of the you know, I've read the text before, but seeing the photographs of his handwritten you know notes of that. Um, it's just it's a magnificent thing and um yeah it's five hundred dollars but um i've said this before about these you know a blank tape a blank one of these reels of tape a blank reel of tape on one of these sort of reels will cost you 70 or 80 pounds something like that um and uh so there's two of those you know, you've got to look at all the raw materials and, and, and what you are actually buying here. It's not a small amount of money, but when you consider that this is, is you know, allegedly worth a similar amount of money, I mean, there is no comparison. There's absolutely no comparison whatsoever. Um, I can't, I cannot recommend this strongly enough. Now, if you haven't got a reel-to-reel -reel player, and it has to play CCIR EQ uh, quarter-inch two-track to enable to play this, a, a, a seven and a half IPS or three and three quarters four-track machine won't play this. You need a master recorder or a 
recorder capable of playing this. But if you have, it's worth every penny. If you haven't, all I can suggest you do is you go and buy the Analog Productions vinyl pressing of this, which they have made, presumably from this master. Uh, and that will you know, set you back less than 50 quid, 20, 30 pounds, something like that. Um, you know, I don't need one of those now because I've got this, but, but uh, to all of you that haven't got the ability to play reel to reel tape, this is um, this is quite staggering and, and frankly one of the best things I've ever heard. Um, and, and I can I cannot say anything other than than that really. Um, it's not an insignificant amount of money, but it is a long, long, long way from an insignificant thing. Um, how can you put a price on something like this? It's it's absolutely magnificent. Um, it's the difference between listening to a record and a real experience kind of thing. It's, it would be, you know, um, listening to a live album versus being at, versus being at the gig, that kind of difference, the, the, the difference in experience from playing this on a very, very, very good vinyl system versus playing this on tape. Um, on that note, I shall say thank you for watching and um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you like what I do and uh, if you do give us a like and um, subscribe that would be that would be cool and groovy I know these things um, matter in the world of YouTube um, in interestingly I mean I, I've, I've, I've only started doing these for fun for passion really if you like I've got nearly 500 subscribers already I can't believe it but uh, long may it go on and um, yeah once again, thank you for watching and uh, I'll uh, see you again soon. Bye.